think RIT's strength is, is twofold. Um, one is that it doesn't have just business. It has business and it has leading design, leading engineering, and again, we'll say technology, STEM and STEAM as we call it, um, together. And the other is that we're applied. RIT in its roots um, is focused on co-op programs and working closely with industry. So what we do is we have these industry links that they like people that know how to do. And so our emphasis is on doing. But we're a small school, so everyone here actually cares. So you're going to have people that you can talk to. There's not going to be a faculty member that you're going to talk to that you're not going to get access to. Um, I have never known any alum that has said no to meeting a student. They've said, I can't meet you for two more months. But they've never said no, and I've been here for 27 years. So this is a good community that even though it's a large RIT group, Saunders and the, the alums associated with it are small and they're, um, let's just say, collegial, and they want to help and mentor. The TIME program is a one-year program that's for technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship. And what the, the real reflective thought of it is that there's value creation in, in a lot of activities. And that the average person it, that comes out of school, comes out of college, is going to have some skills. But a dominant skill is how to create value, how to create them something, how to take an idea, figure out if the idea is good, and then realize that. And our goal was to take technology and innovation. How do you do that in a technology setting? And take straight entrepreneurship. How do you do that with anything and, and bring them together? And do it in an experiential manner. It's a one-year program. And um, one, of the, one of the aspects that we have is we have a speaker series. And we have 10 speakers in a semester. And we hope that they can be exposed to that. We can't expose everything to, ev you know, to everybody but they're going to come in with an inclination and then there's going to be different pathways where they can get deeper into meeting all of those individuals um, that they're, they're talking about. But the real core skills of value creation are going to be there and they're going to be used and applied in different contexts, albeit, um, in all of these different environments, whether it's a high growth technology business, whether it's a, a smaller new venture, whether it's going to be um, working within a company and saying, I have a really good product extension here or this new technology that we're developing actually can solve problems much better than what's going on now. All of those things are going to be integrated through the curriculum. And that's what the curriculum is and what it should be. In this program, there are two tracks. There's innovation management and there's entrepreneurship. Um, but they share a great deal of the same learning and knowledge, curriculum and experiences. One tends to be more in a, in a technology setting with an existing company where you're learning to create value within that company. Entrepreneurship, whether it's high tech or lower tech, is really doing it in an external environment where you're coming up with an idea and you're the lead and you have to create your own infrastructure as you go along. When people come in here, they, they start off and we'll give them a mentor. We have a, a mentor network that's composed of experienced entrepreneurs and product developers. Um, there are also some early stage marketers that are associated with that. And we work closely with them to, as they take classes to figure out what's a good fit. I think it would be unfair to assume people coming in here all know exactly what they want to be. Um, I'm old and I don't know exactly what I want to be. Um, so they'll come in and part of this is the experience. So part of it is the learning and the tools, but there's nothing more important than learning for yourself what fits for you. Everything that we do is about taking an idea and then really doing something associated with advancing it. With the concept that it's a learning process, the university is a place where you can easily, it's a safe place to fail is a good way to say it. So you can come in here with an idea, you can advance that idea while taking your classes, and then you can stop it and say, I learned the process, or you can continue advancing it on. So integral in our program 
is um, an ending period where we call the student accelerator and that's a differentiator for us and that is for 15 weeks you just work full time on this idea. You work on it, you work on it a team, there's going to be a number of folks on it and you get to pick who's on the team, it might be your idea, but if you don't have an idea we'll find something and we just advance so that you would go through a huge amount of work to figure out how to not only look at customer discovery, but also to look at product development and then look at business model development and then try to figure out where you're going next, all with curriculum associated with this, but also with a mentor who's done it multiple times before. The mentor is your coach. They help you get through the process of figuring it out yourself. They're not your project manager. They're never gonna tell you what to do. That's not how the system works. If you want to do something that's pure technology, well, we can certainly handle that. If you want to do something that is just has some technology in it, um, or even no technology, you can certainly go through the, the entrepreneurial facet of it. But it really is more for something that is more than a retail establishment. All right, you're going to be going through the, the, the program, you're going to take classes, you're going to learn about marketing, you're going to learn about customer discovery, you're going to be learning about how you create value and identify it and taking these courses. And then simultaneously as you do that, we have, um, we'll call them workshops and certificates that you take that are not necessarily classes but fill in the gaps. A couple of these certificates that we offer, and again, these are not course-based certificates, you're taking real degrees, I mean, in this. But we offer these, we, we call them eight-hour workshops. And one of them is in design thinking. One of them is a practicum of design thinking, which we call the Idea Lab. One of them is an ideation. One of them is leading applied innovation teams. Now we have a class on that, but we also offer eight-hour. One of them is creating um, innovation and new ideas in, in larger and medium-sized companies. So we have a whole applied forum of that, depending on what the demand is of, of our students. I think there's two dimensions to making the learning stick. And um, one is, is very doing, application-oriented, and one is personal. And the application-oriented is, as you go through the curriculum, you learn and you do, you learn and you do and you learn from your mistakes. You explore, you test, and then you scale what actually works well. Um, so one dimension is the application and the doing. And all throughout the semesters that you're here, you're actually doing in various things. And you're doing things that are real. You're working with real clients. You're putting together real ideas. Um, some of our work is on ideation. How do you find the idea? Um, some of our work is on design thinking. How do you um, come up with a good process to solve problems? But then how do you implement? How do you put together a team? How do you seek those resources? The best way to do that is to do it. And we go through, we go through that process multiple times within the academic curriculum um, and the experiential activities that are associated with it. As you get out of school, particularly if you're young, you need to have a path forward. Where do I start? So one of the aspects of the program is really to look at different parts of the entrepreneurial process and figure out where you might fit in on this and where an entry point might be. Sometimes younger people don't know, well, where do I start? And I think the coaching in some of the courses where you actually have to think about that and focus on that is actually so important because you can come out with all sorts of grand knowledge and all sorts of applications and experience, but if you don't know where to start, you're going to go around in circles. If you come here, be prepared to be involved. Be involved in all, not only the coursework, but the activities, the seminars. Um, we use people in the time program to be leaders for some of these certificates that we actually offer to the larger um, body of the larger community at RIT. Um, you get what you put into it. And if you put something into it here, you can get incredible contacts, incredible learning, incredible experiences. Um, and we can't make you care. You have to come in here and say, I want to learn everything I can and, um, and then go on to my next challenge. 
this is a challenging school um, and you'll find your place. You'll find your place in it, but you've got to put your time and energy into it.